Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. First of all, big up to everybody that has subscribed to the channel um, from the recent review on um, Saturday night. And we also hit about 800 views on that video. So yeah, absolutely bang. I didn't even expect it to do that well as what well it did. So yeah, thank you all for watching it. Um, but we are back today for basically, we're going to have a little chat about the Borough again um, as it's quite a relevant subject at the minute. And I basically just want to bring up a little bit of news that's going on at the Borough that's quite concerning at the minute, or quite concerning to me. Um, you know, the whole wage cut situation, um, you know, there's a lot of rumours flying about that about the Borough at the minute. And it worries me, as a fan, as a supporter, you know, it worries me um, about what's going on at the Borough at the minute. Of course, we know about the league position. Um, you know, I want to get into it all today, really, just quickly, about, what, five or six minutes, because, listen... I don't, know much, I don't know how much storage before I've actually got to allow me to do a long video, but, you know, as always, I always write down my notes, so, you know, I like to be spot on with everything I'm saying. Um, and basically, some of the stuff I've written down was, I've seen a few bullet points, um, what was it, I, say, I, say, I don't get the source wrong, but I literally just got it from a source. I've been the mail, was it the mail, or sport mail, or whatever it was called. Um, but basically, Woodgate has, has a remit to cut the wage, this is basically what gets been brought in in a way that this article was saying is that what gets brought, basically been brought in to uh, lower the wage bill and promote the youth um, which is all fine and good to promote the youth but cutting the wage bill means reducing players wages which might mean in uh, you know morale being a bit sort of weakened in this side of the changing room players might be looking over the shoulders not trying to get a move away um, you know players might not want to take a wage cut and uh you know, for me, for me, it's quite a worrying thing in the fact of the financial state of, you know, how much money we've already got because by the sounds of things, it's not like we've got any. And that is a worrying thing. And for me, that just sort of spells out disaster to me. You know, if we've got no money and in this league, really, this season, we haven't really spent that much money, really. Um, You know, for asking players to take wage cuts, it just doesn't spell anything positive at the minute. But I continue, uh, as I'm not just trying to go to the club here, I'm just giving my own opinion. The parachute payments will stop after this season as well. Of course, it's our third season inside the Championship. And, of course, the players that have to take, basically... Well, listen, I think they pretty much have to take a wage cut unless they have to move on from the club. But first team players out of contract, obviously, inside the summer, is Daniel Ayala, Johnny Housen, Rudy Gestead, George Friend, uh, Marvin Johnson, and Matt Baller, and Ryan Shotton. Now, I did see, and I can't remember if I've seen it, but apparently, Ayala, House and a baller have all agreed, but don't take my word on it, it's just what I've seen. It might be on Twitter. Uh, apparently, them three players have actually agreed and said, OK, no problem, wage bill is a wage bill. I'll take the wage cut. Matt Baller, surprisingly, though, I'm guessing that he only came on a one-year deal, which I know he did, but, you know, for him to just sign for the club and have to already take a wage bill, what kind of wages was he on? Um, of course, he came in with Dyke Steele, and Dyke Steele has to, has to take a wage cut, so clearly he should have obviously in different wages. Um, you know, it worries me the fact that, you know, these players are potentially out of contract and potentially have to take wage cuts because they're all pretty big players for our football club. Um, you know, everyone knows our thoughts on Rudy Gestead, so it is what it is. But, you know, like to Marvin Johnson, who I think is creative talent in our team. Ayala, who's a man mountain at the back. Johnny Alston, who's just unbelievable, uh, attitude-wise. George Friend, who obviously is loved by everybody. And to be fair, he does put a hell of a shift in every time he plays. And regardless of I think he's passed his sell by date or not, he still does put a shift in and he, listen, he plays with a badge every single time. So I can't have a go at him. And Ryan Shot and so I'm a bit worried about them. And of course, I've seen this as well, just briefly. We could be without six players for the QPR game. That's senior players. Dan Randolph out. Uh, Rudy Kested, George Friend, Fletcher, Shot and now George Savile. But in terms of the wage bill, I'm just looking at it and I'm just looking at our league position. And it isn't looking good for us this season. Um, you know, would it be too early to say that we're already inside a relegation fight? Are we already inside a relegation battle? That's something we're trying to be negative. I'm just simply asking a question over to you guys as well. And that's what I figure out in my head exactly what's going on at the border. I'm seeing rumours, and I don't think this is true, but I'm seeing the rumour. I heard it a couple of times today whilst I was at work talking to people. Apparently, the stewards and the uh, bar staff and whatnot have been asked to work for free. Um, and I simply don't collect the wage, but I don't know how true that is. I'm not taking that as truth. I'm just taking literally a pinch of salt and move on from it. But, you know, the one that we do know, you know what I mean? The fact that we do know that the players have to take wage cuts, it does worry me massively. Uh, you know, as all these players are pretty big names for our football club. Um, you know, I just hope things get better because, you know, I think everybody's seen the derby result. Everyone's seen the highlights, so everybody watched it. You know what I mean? We all seen British on Belonga's miss. Was it a red card to George Savile? Doesn't matter what it is. At the minute, it isn't great. Johnny Housen's come out and said, you know, that he knows how Borough got to where else we are. It isn't great at the minute. Well, Johnny Housen, I love you, but tell us something we don't know, mate. Listen, we all, we all know how bad it is at the minute. This moment's not going to get any easier either. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's a big it's a big thing that's happening in the Borough at the minute. It's, it's, it's 
it's not fantastic. Um, but hopefully it gets better. But yeah, I thought I'd do a quick video, you know, addressing some of the situations at the butter, uh, addressing the QPR situation for this Saturday. What do you guys think is going to happen in terms of the wage cuts? Do you think players will leave or do you think they actually will stay sort of loyal, if you like, and try and take the wage, try and take the wage cuts and stay with the club and try and help us out and try and stay inside the championship this season? It's not looking great. It doesn't look we've got much money. And uh, at the end of the day, it's just not very promising for us at the minute, is it? Um, it's hard to find any sort of positive. But if you have enjoyed the video, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe. And hopefully things get better. And hopefully get three points to QPR. Hope the bora.